Good morning, you guys. So today is Monday, November 29th. It is Christian's first day back to school after Thanksgiving vacation, whatever you want to call it. I am getting ready by making him chocolate chip pancakes before I wake him up. Yes, this is what I look like when I wake right up out of bed. I'm taking a shower and nothing. This is what I look like. Christian, say hey. I didn't even have to go wake him up, guys. He woke up on his own. Okay, so Christian, fair warning if you're watching this, it's time to turn this video off and go watch another one of your videos, honey. This is time for mommy to talk to our subscribers and let them know what's going on. Okay, I just wanted to give him a couple of seconds to turn off. So, I am now getting ready to bring the doggy back into the house. If you guys don't know who Doggy is, it's a little elf from Santa's Village, the elf on the shelf. So I'm going to show you guys the first day. I'm not going to show you the first day. I'm going to make that a whole separate video. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to prepare for Doggy to re-enter our house. So everyone say hi to Doggy. Alright. on the house today I'm not doing much I'm doing cleaning and I'm starting to get ready for the Christmas season as you can see I have my Christmas tree up behind me but look at this cute little outfit from the M&M store the M&M's world in Times Square if you guys have not seen that video I will go ahead and link that either down below or up in the corner up here I'm not sure I lot I didn't lose I broke my camera about a month ago I shouldn't say I broke it. My son broke it accidentally. He was walking by and my camera was in my purse because we're getting ready to go to the Enchanted Village. You guys have seen that video. Hopefully, if not, I will also take that or pin that up above. 
and my camera was in my purse getting ready to go because we were literally five minutes away from walking out the door. It fell on the ground and it didn't smash into tiny pieces, but it wouldn't work after that. So I had to throw it away, unfortunately. I love that camera. And I have no idea what happened to my GoPros. I haven't used them since we went to New York. Go ahead and look up that playlist. I have actually have a whole playlist on the Rocking Horse Ranch Resort. I have a whole playlist on the New York visit as well. So if you guys want to go check that out, go ahead and check that out. Definitely subscribe down below because you never know when we're going to take a fun trip or a fun day trip. You know, 2022 is right around the corner. Fingers crossed everything will go as planned and this whole COVID situation would die down. i fully aware it's not going to go away. But hopefully it will die down enough so that we can be comfortable going on vacation and not having to worry about vaccinating our son. I'm not going to get into that. It's not a political channel. If you want to do that, go follow another political channel. I don't follow politics. I'm just saying I'm not comfortable vaccinating our son and neither is my husband because of my reaction to getting vaccinated. Now, my husband did not have a reaction to getting vaccinated. He was lucky enough. I thought I was gonna die. No lie, I'm not trying to exaggerate. I literally thought I was gonna die. But yeah, long story short, go check out our New York trips. Go check, well, the Walking Horse Ranch is in New York, but it's a whole different playlist because it was a whole separate vacation. Our Times Square, as I would call it, vacation was in April, over April, school vacation. And then late June, early July, somewhere around there, we went to the Rockin' Horse Ranch for a couple of days and we have videos on that. And my son actually took a lot of the footage. Like all those water slide, all that water slide footage, all that water footage, 99.9% .9 of that was my son taking footage. And he did an amazing job for a seven year old. But anyways, cute little shirt, my favorite m and I've always been a fan of the blue m and I don't know why, I just like the way he looks. Looks pretty cool. Then these sweatpants here. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this to dry. <laughs> So as you can see, Christian is at home and I am all bundled up. And you can tell by my red nose, <laughs> I was trying to think of what they call Santa Claus in the story. Uh, bowl full of jo bowl full of jolly, bowl, bowl full of jelly is what his stomach looks like, I don't know. But anyways, Christian's home now. So we're gonna go do some homework, have some dinner. wanted to come in here real quick and explain why it was kind of dark where Christian was doing his homework. So Christian has some sensory issues and if things are in a certain way he will not do anything. So they we need to dim the lights because otherwise he won't focus. As you can see his iPad had to be right there on the arm of the couch. It was off, but it had to be right there. So he knew that, okay, once I do this, I can get my iPad. But sometimes it's a real struggle. Like today was a real struggle to get him to do his homework. And he wouldn't do it unless his sneakers were on his feet. It's just how he is. And we're dealing with it every day. And we are learning to be the best pants that we can from <laughs> and basically just be there when he needs us 
sometimes he'll go off and do his homework on his own, which is great. Sometimes, sometimes he'll have a bad day. Now, today was the first day back after being off for almost a week. So today is Monday. He was off. His last day of school was last Tuesday because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they were off for Thanksgiving vacation. And then, of course, the weekend. There's no school on the weekends in America. I don't know about other countries, but in America, there's not. So it's he has to get back into that rhythm, back into that schedule. So understandably, today was a little struggle. But you know what? He did it and he did all his homework for the entire week. So I'm very proud of him.